Hi everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and I wanted to share this story with you that I saw in the local news. Now, I only discovered this because Harry, the rideshare guy, actually shared this video and tagged the local news broadcast that featured this story. And it's about a Grubhub driver that <laughs> asked their customer to use the bathroom. It's actually the customer that's relaying the story. I'm going to play that video and um, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit later. I think this is okay. It's fair use. I'm commenting on the, on the video. So, so we'll go from there. And if not, then we'll edit it out later and upload this video again. Here we go. 98.3 <laughs> TRY Social Dilemma. Here's the question. Would you let a food delivery driver use your bathroom? No. Samantha writing in <laughs> saying, I live by myself, and since the pandemic happened, I found myself ordering lots of food to go. Really a lot of the time, I use food delivery apps. The other day, I ordered food through Grubhub. The driver rang the doorbell, and when I went to get my food, which is usually just left on the doorstep, the driver was still there. The young woman very nicely asked if she could use my bathroom. She said she'd been delivering food nonstop for several hours and hadn't had a chance to go anywhere. Mm. I let her come in and use it, and she was in and out in two minutes. Not a big deal. However, my friends thought it was crazy to let her in. So, would you let her in to use the bathroom? Oh. I, I don't know. You know, it's I just so tough. you don't know the person. I know, I know. that's the you thing. You want to be kind, yes. yeah. But but places. we know, especially Plenty. in this business, Plenty. all of those stories. Right. And so I would hesitate and probably. Probably. There's probably a policy that says they're not supposed to they're probably, do that, they're probably not I'm guessing. Ask, yeah. Yeah. But, um, the stewards hopefully is nearby I know, or something. where they feel bad for her. Yeah, wait, do they have a bathroom in stewards? Somewhere where they have a bathroom? Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they, do. <laughs> they always do. Yes, yep. they do. Yes, they do, stewards. <laughs> well, let us know what you think. Head to news10.com for a link to our Facebook oh. post. Okay, so <laughs> here we have a food delivery driver, specifically one on Grubhub, that went to delivered food to Samantha's door and asked to use the bathroom, which they're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to enter someone's house while you're on the app. On top of that, it was a leave it door order. So they didn't do what they were told as far as that was concerned. Now, I understand that sometimes you get out there and you feel like, oh my goodness, I have to go to the bathroom. But let me tell you, this happened in my market in upstate New York. So I happen to know that the restaurants in this area are allowing people to go into the bathrooms. And I, as a food delivery person, have used the bathroom many, many times when I've gone to pick up an order from a restaurant. On top of that, we can go offline or pause orders at any time. So it's not like we're being forced to stay on the app and deliver this food one order after the other. If it only took a few minutes, this person probably had plenty of time, whether during the pickup or while driving, to pop in somewhere and use a public bathroom. Now, I don't know the situation. Maybe this particular person took a long delivery and ended up being way out in the middle of nowhere and may have been 10 or 15 minutes away from a bathroom. That has happened to me as well, where I've taken a delivery and it's gone way out in the middle of nowhere and there wasn't a gas station around for another 10 minutes. So I can certainly sympathize and empathize with the situation. However, I do think it's important to remember that we have the ability to go on and offline whenever we want to. That's one of the benefits of being an independent contractor on these platforms. And I really, really think that this could turn into a dangerous situation for either the driver or the customer. So in any event, if you're a driver and you're invited into someone's house, don't go into their house. If you're a customer and a delivery driver asks to use your bathroom, you know, I would be very careful about asking them that. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts on this particular situation. Have you ever done this as a delivery driver? Has this ever happened to you as a customer? Please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. My name is John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.